a statistic that it showed up on Facebook is that the average person in the U.S. has only visited eight of our states. For most FTBs who have been to conference once or twice, they've at least matched that number. Thinking about the Great Commission, our text for the week, go and make disciples of all nations, we can feel really guilty because many of us have been to few of the 50 states, much less into all the world. I've heard someone say it should read, as you go, make disciples of all nations. This rendering focuses less on the going and more on the making disciples as we go. So, as you go about your daily life, are you able to make friends with new people? Some of them will need to know about how Jesus saves. Some may even be here in the U.S. from a country in the 1040 window. In Acts 8, 26 to 40, we read of Philip getting directions to go to a busy road. It was there that he met a leader from Ethiopia who was seeking God, but had not understood that Jesus was the Messiah. We too might encounter folks who need to hear of the Messiah. If we go where they are near us, we might make a connection. Look for immigrants, foreign students, aliens who have just arrived, or even a neighbor who doesn't know the Lord, and then engage. Become their friend. Show interest in them, and when the time is right, you may get a heavenly prompting to tell them of Jesus. It may be hard to talk to someone you do not know. Forcing our way into a conversation or situation may do, may do more harm than good. Be sensitive. Offer help or friendship, but do not push. It takes time to make friends, to trust them and for them to trust you. But in most cases, if you don't try, there'll be no connection. Let's pray. Lord, open our eyes to see those you want us to meet and to get to know. May your Holy Spirit prepare them and us and prompt us to know when and how to speak about you to them. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.